All right, so today we are gonna make a messy bun hat. Um, it really doesn't matter what kind of yarn you use, to be honest. I'm gonna use a five millimeter crochet hook. Um, I am gonna reference specific numbers of chains and stitches and um, obviously for the purpose of this video tutorial. But because of the size of my, the because of my yarn that I'm using and depending on whatever yarn you're using, it can differ. It'll, it, you know, just following how many chains I'm gonna make can make the sizes completely different depending on the yarn that you use. So I would highly advise using a size chart and measuring. Okay, so the way we're gonna start this hat is with the brim of the hat. So for a size chart, if you're finding this video on YouTube, have a look in the description below. There's a link to my website, diyfromhome.com and you will find a fantastic hat size chart on there. And if you're already in diyfromhome.com right now, just have a look on this page at the top. It should have um, an option to click here for the hat size chart, or you can just look in the menu above in the tabs. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is make our slip knot to begin our chain. And just put your hook right through and we're going to chain 60. So to make a chain you just yarn over and pull right through, yarn over, pull through. Okay and you're just going to continue doing this until you get to 60. So you can go ahead pause the video, get your chain to 60 and then come back. Okay so now that you're done making your chain, we're going to attach the first chain to the last chain with a slip stitch. So the way that I like to do this to make sure that the chain doesn't twist is I just hold the top and run my thumb along the chain making sure that when I do get that other end it's not all twisted up. Okay, so we're just gonna push the hook right through. Now we've, okay, so I've pushed it through both, the first one and the last. I'm just gonna yarn over and pull right through both. Now what we're gonna do is chain one, and we're gonna do a single crochet in each chain around. So you're just gonna push your hook through, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Okay, so push right through the chain, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. And that's a single crochet. So we're just gonna do that all the way around. Um, and then when you get back to the beginning, come back. So go ahead. Okay, so now that you're back at the beginning, we're gonna close this round with a slip stitch into that first chain one that we made at the very beginning. So you're just gonna push your hook right through that chain, yarn over and pull right through both loops. So now we've closed that round. <clears throat> so we're gonna start the next one by making a chain one. And now we're gonna do a back loop single crochet. So when you take a look at your stitch, it looks like a little shape of a V at the top. So normally we would push our hook right through the entire stitch, but for this, since it's a back loop single crochet, we're gonna go over the top of our stitch. Let me just move it in a little. So we're gonna go right in over the top. So instead of pushing it in the front, we're gonna go right over the top and push into the back loop only. Yarn over. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. Okay, so let's do another one together. So you're going to go into the back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. So that's a back loop single crochet. Go in the back, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. So you're going to go ahead and do that all the way around. Every single round you're going to close with a slip stitch in that first chain one that you make. Okay, so you're going to do these back loop single crochets for a total of four rounds and then come back. So go ahead and pause your video, do your four rounds of back loop single crochet and then come back. Okay, 
So I've just finished my last round of the back loop single crochets and I closed the last round with a slip stitch. So now instead of chaining one, we're gonna chain two. So one, two. And then in that very first stitch of the round, we're gonna make two double crochets. one walk you through so you're going to yarn over push through your stitch the entire stitch yarn over your hook and pull up a loop so now you should have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the last two okay now we're gonna skip this next stitch and we're gonna do another two double crochets in the following stitch. So yarn over, push through the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both, yarn over, pull through both. And we're gonna go do that again. Okay. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So you're gonna skip this one, do two double crochets. Skip this one, two double crochets. Skip this one, two double crochet. You're gonna do that all the way around and then come back. So go ahead, pause your video, and then come back. Okay, so now I've just finished my round of the double crochets, um, two in a stitch, skip one, two in a stitch. So now we're back to the start. And we are gonna close this round by doing a slip stitch into the top of our chain two. Okay, and then we're gonna chain two again. And in that very first stitch, we're gonna do two double crochets. Skip a stitch and do two double crochets in the following. So we're now just gonna follow this all the way. We're gonna skip a stitch, do two. So we're gonna follow this all the way around and close it off the same way by doing a slip stitch in the top of that first chain two. And you're just gonna continue on doing this now remember this is a messy bun hat, so you don't wanna go the full height of a hat that you'd want because we're gonna leave an opening at the top. Um, so I would say you're gonna go and continue, excuse me, continue on doing this. Make sure that it looks how you want, but I'm gonna do this for a total of seven rounds. So that first one's gonna count as one. This is my second round. I'm gonna do seven like this before I start my decrease. Okay, so you can go ahead and do the same, do seven rounds and then come back or just do it until you think it's high enough how you want to and because there will be a few rows of the decrease before we do finish off with that little opening at the top for our messy bounder ponytail. So go ahead, pause the video, um, finish your rounds of these double crochets and then come back. All right, so here's where it gets a little bit tricky and we're gonna begin our decrease. So you chain two the same way as you did for every other row. Now we're gonna push our hook in that first stitch where we would have done our first two double crochets. Instead, we're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, and then we're gonna yarn, we're gonna push our hook through the next stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. So now we're taking these two stitches and we're turning them into one. And we're gonna do it the same way we would do a double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over and pull through the next two. And then do a second double crochet in there because we're doing our clusters and sets of two double crochet. And now we're gonna skip this next stitch and we're gonna do two double crochet the way we would have in all the other rows. And then we're gonna skip this next stitch and do two double crochet the same we would have Oops. in all the other rows. I just missed a loop of my stitch. There we go. Okay, so pay careful attention to what we're doing here right now. It's where it gets a little bit tricky because we're going to gradually decrease right now. So instead of our first two double crochet, we decreased. So we did a decrease 
and then we skipped a stitch, did our two double crochet, skipped a stitch, did our two double crochet. Now we're going to skip this stitch the way we would have anyway, and we're going to do a decrease. So you're going to push your hook in, pull up a loop, push your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then do that the same you would for a double crochet yarn over pull through the first two, yarn over pull through the next two, and do another double crochet in the same stitch. Skip that one, do two double crochet in the following the same as you would. And we're going to do this all the way around. So following this pattern means we would skip this one and do two double crochet in the next. And we would skip this one and do a decrease. Push your hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop. Go in the next one, push your hook in, pull up a loop, and do it the same as a double crochet, and do your other double crochet. So go ahead and pause your video and do this all the way around. So you're going to skip that, two double crochet, skip that, two double crochet, decrease. Do that all the way around until you get back to the beginning, and then come back. Okay, so now in this next one, so what we just did was a decrease. We started with a decrease and then we did two regular clusters, then a decrease, two regular clusters. So now we're going to do a de we're going to start again with a decrease, but instead of doing the, the rest after every two clusters, we're going to do it after every one. So let's start by doing our first um, decrease. So you're going to put your hook in, pull up a loop, put your hook in. Pull up a loop and then do your double crochet again in that same stitch. Okay, skip the next one and we're going to do our regular double crochet cluster. So we'll do two double crochets there. Okay, and now we're going to do, skip that one and do a decrease. And you're going to follow that all the way around. And then come back. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning where we've closed and done our chain two. Now we're going to do every single cluster the way we did the first few rows, but every single one is going to be a decrease. So you're going to put your hook in and in and do it like a double crochet stitch and do one more double crochet in there to complete the cluster. Skip one, do another decrease. Skip one and do another decrease. Okay, so just do that all the way around and then come back. Okay, so now on this next round, you're going to, when you've closed that last one, you're going to chain one. So if you've already done your chain two, just pull one chain out. And we're going to do a half double crochet in every stitch around. So you're going to yarn over, push your hook through the stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop, yarn over. And pull through all three. So let's do the next one. A yarn over, push through your stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So that's a half double crochet. You're going to do that in every stitch around and then come back. Okay, so now you can see the top, that little hole that's going to be for our bunner ponytails getting smaller and smaller. We're almost done. So now that you've finished that round and you've chain closed and chain one, we're going to do a round of single crochet decrease in every other stitch. So let's do our first stitch is going to be a single crochet. Okay, and now we're going to do a single crochet decrease. So you push your hook in, pull up a loop, push your hook in the next stitch, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all. So you've taken those two stitches and you've turned it into one. And now we're going to do a single crochet and then a single crochet decrease. And another single crochet and you're just going to go ahead and do this all the way around and then come back. Okay so this is our very last round so you've closed it in chain one. Now we're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch around. So just like this in every single stitch you're going to do a single crochet. Okay so go ahead and do that and then come back. Okay, so if you're back at the start now, if you've already closed it with a slip stitch and chain one, just pull it out. We're going to close, just pull out the chain because we're going to close it with a slip stitch and then fasten it off, which means just pull a big piece of the yarn like that. Get a scissor. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and fastened off your yarn, pull that big stitch there and snip it, get your yarn needle. Okay thread your yarn needle. I've turned my hat inside out and the way that I hide my yarn just to keep the ends secured is I just sort of push it through a bunch of the stitches randomly. Really there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just to secure it once you weave it in through the hat like that and you can just go, you can do it as much as you want to. I just do a few and I'll go in a different direction just to make sure that my ends are really, really secure. I mean, realistically, the chance of it coming loose, slim to none, but you know, better safe than sorry. So I'll just go in one more different direction here. And that's it. And I will do the same for my starting tail here. At the beginning, I'll just use my yarn needle and hide that in through the stitches. Like I said, turn your hat inside out before you go hiding the stitches, and then you just cut off the little end. And that's it, you're done.